Hey guys, so we're back uh, for the second part of this video. We're about to head out to Nave's house and do the front suspension tonight, change over the springs, and we'll see how she looks. All right, let's get going. So we'll just have a look at what we're doing on the fronts. So it's pretty straightforward. You've got your front coil here. You've got your tie rod connected here, sway bar link. So once you undo those, um, you can lower this control arm down and then shocks out. So it's pretty straightforward. Before you can do any of that, you'll just have to unbolt your brake caliper from your rotor and then we can relocate it. Uh, the best spot to relocate it will be by placing it on your front sway bar. Now you can see here that Jace gets the cable tie and just bolt, puts it through one of the bolt holes and cable ties it to the sway bar. This just means it's out of the way for when we lower the control arm and we're not going to stretch the brake lines just to avoid any damage. Now that we've safely got our brake caliper out of the way, all we want to do here is go ahead and unbolt the lower bolt from our sway bar linkage. This will just give us better access for lowering the control arm. The last thing you want to do before lowering the control arm is give the ball joint a good smack on the side. This will just shock the taper so you're able to lower the control arm. The only problem with doing the ball joint like that is that sometimes it takes a few blokes to get it out and if you've had a rough day like we had, um, it doesn't always work so easy, uh, but there is proper tools to be able to do this, so do recommend using those if you can. reinstall the, the shock and the new spring. To do that you just repeat the procedure for removing it. It's pretty straightforward by doing your ball joint with your tie rod, your sway bar, install your brake caliper and away you go. Yeah. 